Borals McGorals and Gorals McBorals. We're doing a Throrals of Eldrorals McDrorals. What coral are we porolking? Are you saying Arena is full of filthy casual? <laughs> kind of, yeah. I mean, that's not a bad thing. I'm just saying Arena is more... It's more accessible. So the caliber of player you're going to get on Arena is going to be much more varied. Uh, and I've said this before. Like if People who play on Magic Online are going to be naturally better because they've taken the initiative to play on Magic Online. This is when Magic Online was just the only, the only option, right? I'm going to definitely take this Giant Killer. I think it's just too good, even though white is pretty bad. Um, I think I think if we're the only white drafters, it's pretty sweet. Gamma set, what's going on? But so, like, the thing is, back when Magic Online was the only way to play Magic Online, you have to take a lot of initiative to play Magic Online, to buy your cards twice, quote-unquote, to build decks, you know, to join events. Like, that's a lot. The casual players aren't going to really do that. They're just going to not be on board with that. So... Typically, back in the day, anyone who's taken the initiative to, like, go through all that effort to play on Magic Online competitively is usually going to be competitive. Whereas Arena, it's essentially free to play. Like, a draft is not super expensive. You get daily rewards and things. There's all kinds of ways you can essentially play for free. I got a little poof here right here. What's going on? It's a little better. I think we're taking Castle Ardenvale. Having a way to make 1-1s in the late game seems... Pretty, pretty bonkers. I like all these things. Maybe the Ardenvale Tactician comes back. We'll see. Prized Unicorn. I guess we can just cut off all the white. Because nothing else in this pack is actually very exciting. This pack is actually pretty unexciting. And this makes a night. <clears throat> I'm halfway through a draft on Arena and I'm watching you instead. I appreciate that. I'm just beginning a draft on Magic Online and I'm also watching me instead. A 5-3 for three, 3 seems ambitious. I feel like having 5 artifacts or enchantments out is pretty rough. Oh, do we take this castle Embereth and just have Dub's castles? Or do we take Flex and Intruder because I think it's one of the... It's a really solid top end. I kind of like castle Embereth. It's not that hard in food format. How dare you? How dare you call this format a food format? I think it might just be the castle. I think we're just double castling. <clears throat> I don't think I've drafted red white before, so. White is pretty bad, drafts three white cards in it. Oh, I did that because... <laughs> because I think it's the common consensus that people don't like white in this format. So if I can just draft all the white cards, then I get all the good stuff. Oh man, now I'm wishing I took the stupid Flax and Intruder. I mean, this card's just so good. The Trample is so good. It's so good. Who's gonna give you the step of all five castles if you take a menu? That's true. No one's gonna work. I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna work. What's, how how am I gonna phrase this? No one's gonna pay me if I don't. If I already do the work for free. It's just rally. I guess ogre rant is not bad. It's not great. It's all creatures. All right, I'm gonna stay the course. Oh, tournament grounds, okay. Okay, now we're talking. Oh my God, it's Dan's, my favorite Dan's. Never you do something you're good at. If you're good at something, never do it for free. Uh, if this is the, if these are my options, it's, is it Scalding Cauldron over Outflank? 
more like out Frank. Because <laughs> it's because I'm because I'm drafting. I think outflank might be better if we can go wide here. Oh, all right. I'm just taking whatever white cards are here now, and then we're gonna hopefully cut it all off. Out Frank, I don't get it. Somebody touch my spaghetti. Think about it. Nope, that's terrible. Raging Red Cap might not be terrible. Garen Brig Paladin is great, and I'm wishing I still took these green cards now. <clears throat> Maybe Rimrock Knight is the play. Maybe we just get super aggro. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, well, we have a direction. I don't think it's a good direction. But it, it's a direction that exists, so. Aren't you drafting inside? Internally, I'm not drafting. Externally. I am drafting in my house. Idyllic Grange. <clears throat> home, home on the Grange. Is there any way to get a small amount of gems? I'm fifty short of getting the season. I have, I have no idea. Um, that's a good question. I don't know. I think they only give you out like gold, right? Did you ever get your Taco Bell toasted cheddar chalupa? Oh, that's bullshit. Murderous Rider. It's a murderous rider. I think we're just taking Murderous Rider and then forsaking this red bull honky. Thank you. Oh my god, Spaghetti Toucher, welcome back. An Indian stack here in McDonald's. It's garlic naan with chicken tikka in a tie. In, in Thai middle? I don't know what that part means. So good. Oh, man. That sounds delicious, dude. That sounds like the most legit thing I've ever heard. Oh, my God. Storm Fist Crusader. Okay, now we might just be going Mardu Knights. Is that better than this? God, probably. Free cards? Maybe not, though. I don't know. Shoot. No. Oh. Oh, yes. <clears throat> the dream is alive. Okay. I'm feeling okay about it now. You know I'm new to magic and learning slowly. I'm wondering, what is your favorite way to play aggro control? I'm a control player at heart. Okay, Wintermore Commander. Uh, I like being able to... I don't like having to win by a certain point. Because, like, <clears throat> the thing is with aggro decks, if you don't win by, like, turn 5 or 6, usually, um, you run out of... You, you, do what, you do what's called running out of gas, where, like, you don't have anything left to play because all your creatures are small. And um, control decks usually take over the game at that point. I am more mid-range than control, but I think that's because mid-range has been more viable than control in the past two years. <clears throat> I also like mid-range because it lets me play longer interactive games.
you should run. I feel like I um, I feel like it's my my only concern is it might have been done to death. I feel like this deck really came to go order of midnight. Jeez, easy. These picks are really easy and really good. This is great. Man, I every time I play Murderous Rider, the uh, the when Murderous Rider dies, put on the bottom of its owner's library clause becomes more and more apparent. I'm just like, oh, Order of Midnight, oh, Baron Barrow Witches, oh, like all these ways to just get a, just start to rebuy a uh, a hero's downfall. I am also very bad at playing aggro decks. Okay, well. Giant Skewer, or we can take the Burning Yard Trainer and splash it off of, like, Turner Grounds, Castle Embreath. Probably not Castle Embreath. Meh, it's still very good. I think it's better than Giant Skewer here for sure. <clears throat> this is also not terrible if we want to fix for the red here, so. Monsanto, thank you for the the uh, the gifted Witcher man. Really appreciate it, dude. That's a strange thing to just have in your account. Skull Knocker Ogre, okay, fling. Youthful Knight is actually just fine. This guy is actually hard to deal with. Sometimes. Oof, man. Still having that green white regret. Hmm. Four white sources, is that too much to ask for? Forgot I did that. <laughs> All that glitters, probably not great. Festive funeral is probably fine. Click, clicky. Yeah, I totally get what you're saying, dude. No worries whatsoever. Righteousness. I wonder if righteousness is any good here. Save from Twitter? No, sir. You are on your own. I steer clear of Twitter, my friend. I, I use Twitter very, very lightly. Fabled Passage. Not bad if we're going three colors here. Also, I don't think it's terrible in terms of monetary. Other options are bacon to a pie. It's pretty good. Interesting. Hmm. <laughs> I think it is actually bacon dough pie. I don't think we need the fixing that badly. I'd rather just have. Ooh! Is that good? 
black creature specifically. I don't think that's, I don't know if that's good. I don't know if it's better than like another Ardenvale Tactician or a Smitten sword, sword Master here. Even Shepard being able to bounce Murderous Rider seems pretty bonkers. Oh yeah, the the yeah the sire would be the sire would be better for sure. Not only is it a five four, it's also a knight. Every creature drains them though, and I can sack something to gain life. I don't know, man. It's I can only sacrifice black creatures. If I sacrifice another creature, I'd be like, okay, I'm on board. Knight, knight, knight. These all these are knights. These are knights. I think it's still Shepard because we can get more of these, and the uh, the or I can go even get more of these, and I think the idea of oh wow another baked in a pie the idea of being able to bounce murderous rider if we really need to seems great. Wow, all right, that's really good. Look, we could have three castles. We could almost have the three. the The stipulation is almost complete. Uh, Griffin, you can actually go. No, not you. Uh, unicorn, you can actually go there. Probably just another unicorn. It's two creatures. It's a knight. I don't care about a second Arden Veil vale Paladin or a second Festive Funeral. Or I'll actually just play the unicorn. <laughs> Seems good. I really hope this Swordmaster comes back, but I'm not going to be. That's a surprisingly late worthy night. What is even happening, dude? How do we always get this black white night deck, dude? What the sh... That's insane. Now I'm even more glad I took the Shepherd because now we can bounce this guy. Another tournament grounds. Oh, another... Oh, and then Smitten Sword Master. Sure, let's take Smitten Sword Master, I guess. Another Youthful Knight? I mean... Sure. Could probably take out the Cauldron. I don't think we're playing that. Do you want three? Yeah, I, yeah, I just want all the knights I can get. Venerable Knight comes back. Okay, sounds good. Uh, other than that, there are no uses for foils. Other than, like, just visual aesthetics. Like, they just look better. You know, some people, some people think they look better, so. Wow, that's a leap flex and intruder that I'm just going to take. And they're worth more. Sometimes. Wow! Look at our. This is look at look at these look at these rare knights, dude. This guy's not a knight, but it's still very rare. I'm just gonna take second silver flame ritual because it's probably just good. Plus two baked in a pies. This deck seems bonkers, dude. How many knights do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15 nights. That seems like a good amount. 16 nights. What would you do? Wow, this is might be the best night deck I've ever had. I think we can take out festive funeral. And we have Castle Ardenvale, I totally forgot about. Jeez. My biggest issue with foils, and I would actually like them a lot more, is that they always warp. And so I'll, I'll look at a box of foils, and I'll just be like, oh wow, these are literally C-shaped now. And it's just sad. Do permafits prevent the the warpage, Brett? Like, if you just slam, if you just slap some 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 foils and some perfect fits, are they gonna not warp? Do it right away. <laughs> oh, it's gonna uh, sleep it immediately. I mean, that's probably correct. I think it's funny because like the two places I've lived, Seattle and Florida, like are both um, places where there's a lot of moisture in the air, where there's a lot of rain. So, <sighs> pretty sure this deck is already just good to go. Do we play the Cottage in the Grange? Probably. Do we play the Tournament Grounds? Probably not. <clears throat> you have to sleeve it while it's still in the pack. <laughs> I was interested in the right warp cards in general. I think it has more to do with how they were kept before opening. I think the insane heat that some boxes go through before they get... Yeah, oh, for sure. I think the weather for sure contributes. I think this deck is great. I don't. I don't know. Eight six. How about seven seven? Because we have already two extra white here. I want double black for these guys and this guy. So, oh man, this deck looks juicy. You know what? Deal. <gasps> oh boy. This is how we do it. Is it where you cast a night spell? Oh, that's not casting a night spell though, unfortunately. Well, we missed the land drop, so let's hope we can still win through that. That guy.
Well, at least we're getting some decent night action here. One, two, three. This guy's gonna go here. No, they just took five. Okay, well, seems good. Mm. Apparently worthy night on two, even though we don't hit any more lands, is good enough. I saw what you did for a Klondike bar. Call me. <laughs> oh my god. I guess I'll keep this hand. How 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 long do I hold this thing? Probably not long. I probably think I just drop it because I want to have three mana for this guy. They mulligan to five on the play after that bloodbath in game one. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Well, now I'm just going to run out Youthful Knight so that we can... So that we can profitably block this gentleman. I have cheese and the dog wants stuff staring at me. Yeah, well, you're asking for it, buddy. Did we just get in there? No. This card is always unbeatable for us, unfortunately. Whenever we have a bonkers deck, I'm always like, well, it can't beat a Rampart Smasher, because it says my whole deck can't block. We have two baked in pies, so that's pretty good. Oh, that is a big brain play. Can I can you guys just pass me all the rampart smashers? My deck will be like seventeen lands, twenty three rampart smashers. You have to have like one Rampart Smasher per pack. Wow, that's something right there. Can I just draw Baked in a Pie? That's all I want. Just one Baked in a Pie. Okay. <laughs> That'll work as well. I accept that as well. Let's chop this dude down. Boom, boom, boom. And they're done. All right. Well, <laughs> this was a game, all right. It's not one of favorite that you can't get on arena psychology. Yeah, you can't make those big brain plays. You can't ask your opponents to send you all the rampart smashers. If you guys open any rampart smashers, could you kindly pass them to me? I promise I'll send you all the knights. And everybody's going to be like, oh, well, that sounds like a great idea. What could possibly go wrong? You know what? I don't love this hand, but I'm going to keep it because 
raisins. Did he say because raisins? Turn two Worthy Knight into a claimed contender. That's all I want. Just two of my rares. I don't think that's unreasonable. Because what's a reason? What is that? What's that? Is that that's a candy, isn't it? Why does it remind me of like a caramel? Candy? R I E S E N. I spelled it R E I S E N. It's a a reason. Is a caramel confection covered in rich European. That sounds fucking delicious. Covered in rich European chocolate. That sounds amazing. I don't think I've had a reason in ages, and I, I'm pretty sure I haven't because I almost forgot they were, I forgot they were candy. I guess you could say I forgot that. Look, he's a two zero. Oh god, he's dead. Oh, he's okay. He made it. No blocks. Knight, knight, knight. Oh, that's a knight. Wish I had trample. What can you do? So if we play this guy and then attack with both, this is a 2-3 and they can still block and pump. So we're just going to attack with Venerable Knight here. Put a counter on the Winter Winter Moor Cavalier. They don't want to block. They're like, no, I ain't doing that. Interesting. Oh! Whoa. I mean, I kind of just want to get in there for a million, so. Oh, they're tapped out, though. We can still do that. Six it is. Oh, man, we can Murderous Rider, play Murderous Rider, bounce Murderous Rider, kill, mur kill with Murderous Rider again. Jesus. What if they have a family? Oh, that's fascinating. Go on an adventure. <laughs> that's pretty funny. Oh, all right. Well, these games have been quick. <laughs> I kind of like Scalding Cauldron. It just kills all their things, and like even it kills Opportunistic Dragon, which is super nice. What would you do for a reason? I did murder them too. God, it sounds so much darker when you when you talk about the actual player. Um, yeah, I'll keep this. We can go Grange into Castle, into Youthful Knight. Castle, Knight, keep up Giant Killer and Paragon after that. All these creatures are so subpar. Now they can attack with this guy and then just sack this guy to make it 3 3. 
which I think they want to do, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna give you the pleasure. I'm not gonna give you the satisfaction. Okay, so. Hmm. Fascinating. Sure. Look how aggressive they're being right now. Um, I think 2-5 kind of shuts down their whole thing, right? They do have a lot of cards in hand, though, so... You know, that's the thing. Okay, I don't care about that. Oh, all right. Wish this had vigilance. That'd be great. Excuse me. Oh, now? Now you want to show up? Okay. Okay. It's actually still pretty good because now we can make guys every turn if we don't do anything else. Do, 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 do. Definitely gonna pass here. Giant killer is not great. All of these require like specific situations. All, all four of the cards in my hand. Mm, that's pretty good. Shepherd seems decent. Hmm. Oh, I'm just passing here. If only this unicorn was a knight, that'd be great. I mean, if we get them with the youthful knight, they just block with the two three. Like they have no reason to double block. And also, they can take two. And like I think youthful knight is so much better on defense than the two the two damage we might get in. Okay, I feel like every turn they give us to make guys is better for us. But like in response. Searing thing on this guy. On the youthful knight. Wow. Very aggressive. Hmm. Hmm. 
<laughs> Five. Let's play a swamp. I guess we just play everything? No, we just want to play like Youthful Knight here. Because then we get to keep up all the things. We've lived by people for like three years and I've never known their names. I don't know. I think neighbors just aren't that much of a thing these days. This is kind of a this is kind of a hell of a stalemate here. Let's see three, four, five, one, two. We're just gonna play this guy. And then keep up Castle Arden Vale. Because at least we now have some we have some float damage. Paragon is great. That was interesting. Pretty sure. I'm pretty sure with plays like that, we're way ahead right now. That was a weird, I'm going to throw away this Merchant of the Veil. Pretty good. I'm pretty sure all one, two, three, four, five of these commons on board are pretty subpar. And I guess double striker. <clears throat> Alright, let's get in there for some damage. It's going to be a bloodbath. I'm going to pump this guy. So a main put lonesome unicorn back on top, it's just better value. One, two, three, play tactician. Play youthful knight and still keep up shepherd. I feel like we're in good shape. Game over. I can also bounce this, rebuy this, replay this. I think Shepherd of the Flock is actually OP in this format because you just get to rebuy your adventures. Like we could actually bounce this and tap their two creatures. Oh, see, that's exactly wow. We were we were thinking of doing that anyway, and now we get to do it 
in such a way that like they waste their five mana removal spell on it. Yep, that's our deck is pretty strong. God, all these black white night decks that end up super amazingly good. Whew. Get lucky, Clover, and do it again. Oh, man. I'll bounce two guys. Murderous Rider, two guys. The only problem with Lucky Lucky Clover is that if you don't have a target for the second one, then it fizzles, so it goes to the graveyard instead of on an adventure. And that's actually kind of bad. Yeah, oh yeah, I'll keep this for sure. I would much rather have a worthy knight than a youthful knight. But knights are knights, you know? Must be knights. Okay, that'll do. That'll do, pig. What? Oh, biscuits. Oh, geez, the Worthy Nightmare match. The only way we could possibly lose. Although, keep in mind, we have four baked in, two baked into pies in the deck, and we have not seen one in the past two matches, so. Seems bad. I mean, can we just hope they don't have more knights? Ugh, that guy's barely a knight. Worthy knight. Worthy knight. All things considered, this is not a bad hit because it gets all these cards out of the way, which I don't really care about. Wintermore or Ardenvale Tactician. This guy be a 2 3 on the board. 2 4 with Lonesome. Is actually tough. I think it's Tactician. I just think it's a little more versatile. Badger, what's going on, buddy? How you doing, my friend? I assume it's disgustingly early there. I have a coal. All things considered, it's not too bad. Oh, just after 6 a.m., actually, that's not as bad as I thought. I always assume you're up at, like, 4 a.m. So it's 6.23, I imagine. Is that correct? Dude, those half-hour time zones are so weird. I just can't get used to it. I didn't even know they existed. I seriously didn't know half-hour time zones existed. And based on some of the responses in chat, like, I, I don't think I'm alone in that. I think it's just a very strange thing that I didn't even know was real. Looks like you brought a unicorn to a night fight. That's true. It does look like that.
half hour time zone sounds made up. I agree. I agree. Man. Man, oh man. See, now I wish I took the other dude, because... Then we could have played both knights, but I wouldn't have known that. So... He's right, Australia is actually made up. Oh jeez. Here comes Silver Flame Ritual into massive combat step. Well, we're blocking here. Seeing how that goes for us. Probably not well. Rock, yeah, obviously that guy. <laughs> we just have no chance to block a first striker or a double striker, so. Riders on the storm. So if we hit any other land, we can go. Okay, so they have one card in hand. Don't be Silver Flame Ritual right now. Okay, they're just playing this guy. It still could be Silver Flame next turn. They're going real wide here, guys. Where they not myself? Shepherd of the Flock. That doesn't do it. Yikes. I think we're just going to have to play two creatures. Dizzy, Learn Bell Tactician. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, and we still take six if we just let the seven is the least we're going to take here, so we go to half life. And if they ha if their last card is oh Jesus, wow, still no baked in a pie. Three matches, no baked in a pie. Two in the deck, no baked in a pie. We just got alpha here. I mean, even though it's made a 1-1, it's actually significantly worse than Silver Flame because these guys don't get counters or a buff of any sort. Fascinating. I'm really hoping the last card isn't a trick of some sort. I'm probably taking like 10 damage here going to 4. Hmm. 
two one first striker here, two one first striker here, two three here. So if we block like this, we take four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Do this, we take three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And this puts a counter on either this or this. Sure. Yeah, that's pretty brutal. Pretty sure there's no way out of this one. Hell, <laughs> drain makes me hungry for pie. That's fair. So even if we play two creatures, we have four blockers, one, two, three, four, we still take exactly lethal. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah, seems fine. I think there's two of these in the deck. It's really hard to tell. Because, you know, I have no proof. I don't know how much sideboarding they need to do. Let's go. T -t -t Today, Junior. We have six rares in our deck. That's pretty good. I feel like I've only been, I've almost been able to build a constructed knight deck with all the knight rares I've drafted. We also haven't seen Swordmaster once. Interesting. Are these going to time? What's going on here?
thank you. Enemies, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. One year, dude. Did you make? Did Mike make it to work today? No. Literally late four out of five days. It's almost impressive. It's an impressive amount of lateness. Like, I, I, I am impressed. I would actually have some feelings of remorse or, you know, regret if I literally never made it to work on time, but... Four to five in a week, yes. He's supposed to be there at, at 4 p.m. He doesn't leave until 5.15 to get there at 6. I don't understand how he has a job either. Me and Felipe have been quite confused about his employment for quite some time. I'm just writing up a case sheet for a dude who is having a stroke. We got him to the hospital within within the window, and just as we slid him over onto the onto something bed, the rhesus bed, all symptoms resolved. Turned out all I needed was some rough manual handling. <laughs> That's super weird. He's definitely neither of those things. Uh, okay, why don't you chill out? <laughs> it's a little aggressive. Are they double queuing? Is that what the problem is here? Oh, the recess bed, the resuscitation bed. Gotcha. Interesting. Hmm. Hmm. As a uh, as a non medical person, I did not know that. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> Who says things like that? What a weird thing to say. It's your old friend, Elk Tears. You might be wondering what I'm doing here at this hour. You see, I have a bit of a cold and I'm resting in my home. How have you been? I'm okay, buddy. I'm uh, I'm here drafting this deck. We're 2-0 we're, we're right now, but uh, our opponent seems to be having a stroke or double queuing or, you know, some kind of nonsense. It, okay, sure. That's fine. Hmm... Riders on the storm. I kind of want to play this, but I also kind of want to wait till I get another mana. But next turn we can play this and this. Um, I guess. I don't know. I'm just playing magic, dude. Hmm. Well, that's just rude. I cannot believe you've done this. Still pumps this. I 
I kind of just want to take this out. Um, boom, boom, boom. Oh, wow. These guys are getting real trapped in the real tower. I guess we'll pass here. Oh, man. That's something, dude. That's something. That's super weird. Like, you're gonna log out and then log in with a different account? That's the weirdest, most obsessive shit I've ever seen, dude. Time me out, will you? Let me log in with my other toxic account. <laughs> like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> That's like the weirdest shit I've ever seen. Well, I have two accounts that are both completely toxic and contribute nothing. It's, I don't understand. Give me an acclaimed contender one time. Oh my god, look what I found. I would say if this is even worth it, but like... Yeah, I think so. Okay. Give me something good. Oh, youthful night, eh? Okay. Man, this is three youthful nights? Good lord. Oh my god. Their deck is insane. Our deck is good, but their deck is also good. Claim contender. I actually like Griffin here. I might want to wait a turn just to keep up Black Lance Paragon. Like, you guys are banning them so quickly, I don't even see what they're saying. Like, I don't even know what they're saying. Like, that's such a weird thing to do. Sweet. Sir Allen. Ba, ba, ha. Good times never felt so good. don't have any kind of bonkers tricks. Guess I'll take four. And gain two. Oh, look, there's a catapult to launch them into orbit. Well, we're just going to play this guy first before we do anything crazy. Yeah, I think Josh and I get along on a pretty reasonable level. I'm just going to take four here. Because once we have Ritual... Come on. I want a white source or just a card I can cast. Maybe baked in a pie? Doesn't seem too out of... Maybe, uh... 
Murder Rider. Even Shepard's not terrible because you can bounce these guys. No, that's rude. And not the land we want. Oh, 20 cringe bits. Actually, I have no idea what to do here. I don't think this is actually that great. Like, putting out three dudes is just not really that. Well, actually, if they had this in hand and we double block the Sir Allen, it's actually absolutely terrible. So maybe we're in a position where we can finally double block this guy. Not great, though. Like, it leaves us with literally just this guy. Okay. Can somebody ban Cabbage Eater? Pretty sure this is just this dude's fifth alt because they literally have nothing to do with make Twitch accounts, which is actually the saddest thing I could think of. <laughs> like, I have five Twitch accounts. I'm gonna log out and log into each one of them, then go back to your channel each time. It's like, why, dude? Please, find something to do. It doesn't even bother me, I just feel bad for you. Like, no one's offended or, like, bothered right now. It's just, like... It's really kind of sad. All right, come on, Murder Shrider one time. Hmm. God, this third white man is really, really a scumbag right now. Maybe it's performance art. <laughs> Like, one, two, three, four, five. We gained seven, which is a pretty big deal. The vigilance I don't really care about. I just think we have to do it now, unfortunately. Right? Because, like, and if we don't do it now, we have to wait at least a turn to get a white. Then cast it. Wait at least another other turn to cast Silver Flame Ritual. And that's like three turns. Like how many how many three turns do we have? No, we just have to do it now. Even though they have this and this, which is pretty scary. Still can't even attack with anyone. Like, if we attack with even one of these, then Sir Allen just runs right over us.
If it doesn't bother you, then why do you keep talking about it? Well, you see, people talk about things that don't bother them. That's why I'm talking about Magic the Gathering right now. That's why I talk about Marvel movies. That's why I talk about anything, really. Something doesn't have to bother you to talk about it, Edgelord. That's very good. That is solid. So we're actually just dead to this guy. All right. Well, that's game. Wow. This was pretty rough. I thought our deck was insane, but not as insane as our opponents. Night decks. Apparently not that bad. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. You can check me out on twitch.tv slash Frank You can check me out on coolstuffinc.com, patreon.com slash Frank or uh, any of those avenues. Manatraders.com, also a great way to rent physical paper cards or Magic the Gathering digital online cards. You can get 20% off with the link and promo code in the description. And uh, slam those like and subscribe buttons, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys.